easiest time? Not really, not the easiest. Time. Yeah. I mean, but I got a full time job. You know, which, yeah. If you were a welder or a truck driver, you know, you'd be really able to make a lot of money right now. Yeah. But you'd have to go to live in Williston. Oh wait, there's nowhere to live in Williston. They have Hoven. They have Hovenvilles there. They have tents. Uh, wanted to have you on today to talk about a couple different things. Uh, a couple different things in the news lately, and uh, one sure. of them, one of them is. A uh, little story out of Williston, North Dakota, uh, recently about uh, there are people living in tents in Williston because of the oil boom uh, and the fact that uh, there are folks actually both employed and unemployed living in a park in Williston. Uh, and, and get your reaction to that. I know that infrastructure has been a big thing in the western part of the state. I know that some folks called for a special session to address those issues. I know you didn't want to do that, but but what is your reaction, Governor, to uh, those folks living in tents in Williston? Well, we do have uh, a lot of people coming into Williston and other communities uh, because of the oil development, and so we're working hard to help with uh, housing. There are some people right now in tents in Williston, and I think the Park Commission there is actually meeting tonight to decide you know, how they're going to handle it. But I talked to Mayor uh, Ward Moser, Mayor of Williston, earlier in you know, they're working to find other places for them, whether it's trailer park or campground and so on and so forth. But the key is we've got to keep developing more housing up there. They're having a good year constructing a lot of housing this year. I think there are well over 300 units, and that doesn't count. A number of new motels they're building, including extended stay motels and companies bringing in housing facilities. For example, I think Caliper is bringing in a 158-unit uh, housing Well, we're not at District 9. This is not uh, where they put the aliens in Johannesburg. This is uh, where they put the oil workers in Williston. This is Halliburton's uh, answer to the housing crisis. They're, uh, these are not storage containers. This is not shipping containers. This is where they store the workers from uh, uh, working the oil fields out here in Williston. It's kind of an amazing sight, isn't it? does not look too uh, appetizing. They're not here yet. This is where they're, uh, they're preparing the land right over here to, uh, uh, to put the workers. Uh, this is not the way that we want de development to come to North Dakota. We want development where people buy homes, rent apartments, raise families, and uh, put their kids in school. That's development that lasts. That's not a get-rich-quick philosophy. That's a get-rich-and-stay-rich-forever philosophy. And that's what we want on 12 dollars Is this Is this something where the state... It could almost be an emergency situation uh, because if you do have people, and again, it's I think it's 15 to 20 tents. Uh, it's not like it's thousands of people, but obviously it's such a crisis, and things are being done. But uh, I mean, could this be considered an emergency where the state, maybe governor, could step in and, and speed things along? Yeah, that's exactly what we've done, Mike. Matter of fact, last April we were out there with all of our agencies. We're helping them uh, finance bonds for developers helping them with, uh, you know, the manufactured housing coming into the trailer parks and permitting. And so we're doing that through our uh, state agencies. 